Hey guys, uh, how's it going? Uh, I'm back in the shop today, and it's been a while since I've actually worked in here. But uh, I got the, the Ford in here. She's uh, kind of ripped apart, as you can see there. Um, basically, I just got the panels ripped off the front. Uh, she's going under a little bit of surgery this winter. Uh, for the guys that have been following me on Facebook and Instagram, they'll they have uh, a bit of an idea of what's going on, but uh, it has something to do with uh, that black box on the ground. Um, but uh, I'll get to that in a couple of minutes. Um, so far, just kind of cosmetic differences that I've I've started to make would be uh, starting from the front. Took the headlights out. She's got a stainless plate there now. Uh, this grill. That's going to be getting cut out, like uh, all the these center bars are going to be getting cut out. And then there's uh, this piece here I've made up. And you basically all that white that's inside that, that's going to get cut out. And then we're going to make up aluminum bars that go across, kind of like uh, a grill insert uh, of a pickup. Uh, I'll show you that in a couple minutes too. But uh, yeah, so that's what's getting changed up here. And then behind here, made a new uh, rad cradle, which is this one here. The grill is just kind of leaned up against it. It's supposed to go back about another three quarters of an inch or so. But pull that out of the way. And everything's just sitting here right now. I'm just test fitting, nothing's permanent. So then this is basically just going to sit in, just in like that. Um, where this angle pieces there that's uh, that's how tall the old one was and then it's another seven and a half inches taller and the the hood's going to sit on top here there's going to be pins going up with the the lock pins just kind of like a stock car but yeah so I'm just kind of have to clean up the edges a little bit make it so it's not quite as sharp but uh, that'll make it a little bit nicer working on or uh, being basically a little bit of uh, insurance trying to keep the hood on. Um, then I just put this tube on here for uh, just checking things out. And you see how it goes over the intake tube and then in the 90s in front of the block. Well, this is going to get cut across there. And then this aluminum poo tube is going to get spliced in, clamped onto that, shortened up to the proper length, and you can see how it is relatively close to the exhaust. Well, uh, that's because this thing's getting turboed. And uh, this is the turbo that uh, that is being put on it. Um, I'm not sure what the actual make is, other than it just says turbocharger. But uh, that's the information off it. Um, basically I, I got it off eBay, so I, I know some of that stuff gets kind of sketchy, but I figured for the price of it I'd try it. If not, then I'd kind of save up and spend the money on a good one. But, uh, I don't know how hard it would be to see on the camera, but I'll have to make like a inch or long so spacer, but you can tell when that's lined up there. Everything kind of lines up like that. The uh, the exit off the the the, t the basically the exit for the charge there it lines up pretty much right with the front of the engine. Like almost everything's in line. So by the time that's dropped down, you can see that uh, where that aims there and where that pipe comes out. I'll just have to get like a 90 boot. Um, that's already cracked. So. I'll have to use thicker pipe than what this is to support the turbo and I might actually have to run a support bar going down to the, the engine mount but basically I'm thinking like 3 16 wall round pipe to weld onto this flange and make a flange up to uh, to go onto there but uh, I think this should uh, should work out fairly good and then once I get that adapter made up it's basically just uh, doing the oil plumbing and finish up. Uh, I'll have to get another boot for, for the charge pipe. 
and I'll just make that elbow there underneath the coolant pipe into another boot. So this should work out pretty good. Alright guys, well uh, I got the stack cut off and the flange all cleaned up. I got that chunk of pipe, uh, it's inch and three quarters long, just tacked on there for now. I still have to make up the other plate that bolts onto the flange of the turbo. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm running out of time for today. This is probably as far as I'm going to get. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Alright, so uh, like I said, that's pretty much all the time I got for today. Um, figured uh, at least uh, keep you guys in the loop on what's going on with this thing. Um, there's not a whole hell of a lot. But, uh, hey, something's better than nothing at all. So, uh, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, other than the turbo, the, uh, just a few minor little cosmetic changes going on in the rad cradle. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Or, uh, hopefully not too far away from now, but, uh, but yeah. So, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later.